The principle, if the truss is in equilibrium, an isolated joint of the truss will also be in equilibrium, is used in this method. The following steps are followed while analyzing a truss using method of joints. Step 1. We will first apply conditions of equilibrium to the entire truss to calculate reactions at all the supports. Step 2. Select a joint from the truss which only has two members with unknown forces. Isolate the selected joint from the truss and draw its free body diagram. We select joints with only two unknown members as only two conditions of the equilibrium can be applied to analyze a joint. Step 3. Assume that the members carry only tensile forces. Based on this assumption, show the arrows on the unknown member forces pointing away from the joint. Step 4. The forces at the joint form a concurrent force system to which we can only apply two conditions of equilibrium. Sum of all forces in x direction is zero. Sum of all forces in y direction is zero. By using the above conditions, we will find the unknown member forces at the joint. If any value calculated is found to be negative, it implies that the assumption was incorrect and that the particular member carries compressive force and not tensile force. Step 5. Mark the magnitude and nature of the forces calculated on the parent truss. Then select and isolate another joint having only two members with unknown forces. Kindly note that we will repeat steps 2 to 5 solving joint after joint in this process in order to find forces in all members of the truss. Step 6. Present the results in a tabular form indicating the member the magnitude of the force acting on it and the nature of the force. 